Welcome and tell for a bindle sister. This is a Junction City Scandinavian festival, and it is my hometown tradition. There is amazing food, Vikings, demonstrations, and dancing. It is so much fun to attend. It's free. It is the second full weekend of August every year, and this year I took my camera with me, as you can see, and I enjoyed the sights and sounds. And all kinds of performers. It's so much fun. I also brought my sketchbook and my little plein air painting sets, and I got down to business in doing some in-person portraits. So um, yeah, I haven't done in-person portraits in a long time. I sketched them out in pencil first, and then I grabbed my fountain pen filled with waterproof ink. And then I started laying in color with my watercolors. And I chose these two ladies to paint because they were doing a live demonstration of some craftsmanship. I believe it was um, doing some lace on some tablecloths. And they were perfect subjects because they did a repetitive motion. So they kept doing the same thing. It was a very minimal movement, and so they were pretty much almost holding still. They'd move here and there, and so that helped me illustrate and capture these two in ink and watercolor. So this is um, bobbin lace. There was another demonstrator doing bobbin lace, and here's some examples. And then I got down to sketching her out the same way, except I did not use my fountain pen with this one. I just did pencil and then straight on to watercolor to show the details of her costume. Um, all of the performers and vendors and demonstrators at the Scandinavian festival have traditional costumes from Scandinavia, which are primarily Sweden, Norway, Iceland, Finland, and um, it's really fun to see the variety of costumes. She had this beautiful shawl that I knew I had to capture. Um, it had roses and black fringe and all kinds of fun stuff so she was working on bobbin lace which the lace is what you make by tying knots and the thread is wound up on these wooden bobbins and that way it's least likely to get tangled as you're weaving and tying these um, intricate knots to make beautiful lace which then can go and decorate the costumes as well so here I am painting the bobbins um, it is just really fascinating to watch this craftsmanship that has stood the test of time um, it's, it's just really neat so that's what I wanted to paint while I was hanging out in the shade it was quite warm during Scandinavian Festival in 2023, but the shade and the breeze made it worth it. So if you are enjoying this video, I would love for you to give it a little thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos of me out and about painting, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I like to share uh, paintings that I do out in person along with paintings I do in the studio and watercolor and in gouache and just share my love of art with you so I am about done wrapping up the artwork of this shawl um, I had to paint the black around all the other colors because watercolor is transparent and so you layer um, you can layer dark colors over light colors, but you have to leave the light colors because there's no white paint with watercolors. So now I am just finishing up the details of her face, um, just working on them light layer by light layer, building it up so it's really clear to see. 
she also had this really intricate brooch that was um, around the top of her blouse. It was really pretty and it took me a little bit to think about how I wanted to paint it. So here I am going and painting that brooch, trying to be really delicate. I'm using the same size paintbrush. It is a size 10 travel brush. And it's really working really well for me. I'm really quite happy with it. I got it from Jackson's Art Supply. If you are interested in it, I will leave a link in the description for you and you can check it out yourself. So for her hands, I wanted to do suggestion of hands and the fingers. I didn't want to be like super detailed on them because I put a lot of the detail in her shawl and her face. So just finishing up some line work with my paintbrush, just giving some more definition and some finishing touches because you know lipstick is like a finishing touch in life and in painting. So here it is. And I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoy some dancing that I saw at a Scandinavian festival. I still have friends who dance in a Scandinavian festival. I used to dance, I used to be part of a Scandinavian choir and um, used to have my art in the art barn across from the main stage and I plan to have my art in the art barn again and that's with the Junction City Art Association. And so yeah, if you come to Scandi Fest, I hope you enjoy and it is free to attend. It's so much fun for the whole family. So check it out.